Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about list view in uh, Flutter. So in this list view we will have an image and a title. So we are going to create this uh, list view from a JSON data which we will download from this uh, Android Hive website in which we have this uh, title of the movie and then this uh, image of the movie. Then the, this uh, rating release uh, year and January. Now we will use this uh, title, image, and the release year in this uh, list view. So I'll go to Android Studio. But first, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel because this is important for uh, running this channel. Now I'll come here, and uh, here I will have an import in this uh, uh, pubspec YML file. We will uh, import the HTTP library for that. I will come to this uh, Google Chrome, and here I have opened this uh, URL pubdev uh, packages and uh, HTTP. Uh, so I will uh, go to this uh, installing tab, and from here I will copy the HTTP library because we need this for downloading the JSON uh, from URL. So I'll copy this. Copy this and now I'll come to Android Studio and I'll come to this uh, PubSpec YML file and uh, under this dependency in this dependency region I will paste it here. Now I will pubget it. Now it will sync the project and uh, download this package. Now the process finished uh, with uh, exit code 0 so this means that the package is successfully and download it. So now I'll come to this uh, man.dart file and now here we will import uh, HTTP. So I'll import package HTTP dot dot and uh, semicolon then I will import async this one dot async and then I will import another package uh, import dot convert now we need this uh, package for uh, converting the JSON now I'll come here down if I explain this uh, project or this uh, man uh, dot dot file so we have this uh, uh, man method in which we have this uh, run app uh, uh, method in this run app we uh, call this uh, my app class which uh, extend a stateless widget and in this build uh, method of this we return a material app and uh, in material app we have this uh, uh, title flutter demo and this theme of the app and then we call in the home of this material app uh, and the home page class which extends a stateful widget which in turn um, call this um, my home state um, class which is this one and it uh, extend a state and in this state um, we have uh, in the state class we have this uh, build method which return a scaffold and in this scaffold we have this uh, app bar and uh, this title on the app bar now we will create a body here and in this body we will uh, create a container and and this container we will create our UI for list view now I'll go to the top of this uh, uh, my home page state class and here I will uh, create a method um, with the keyword future this future means that it will return something in the future so uh, it will return a list of uh, movies we have to create this movie class and uh, now it is returning a list of movies in future so get json and now we will put curly braces 
now inside this method I will create a URI or L is equal to um, URI dot parse and then I will put this in single quotes or double quotes and then I will copy this uh, URL from here this JSON URL and now I'll come here to this uh, and I'll paste it here I'll put semicolon here now I will create a variable data equals HTTP dot git it is not recognizing HTTP because uh, if I come here I'll make this uh, as HTTP now we have done it so now here I will pass the URL and now I'll put semicolon here now I will create the movie movies class so I'll come here class movies and now I put I will put curly braces and then string title and then string um, image URL and then string Elysia now we will create the constructor and we will initialize this variable this dot title this dot image URL comma this dot release here and now I'll put semicolon here now I will go again to our method and here now var json data equals and uh, json dot decode um, data dot body semicolon now here I will create a list of movies list uh, movies uh, items equals semicolon and now I will use for loop for variable m n uh, json data I will use curly braces now I will create an object of movies m equal to space movies now the first thing in movies is uh, if I go to the constructor is a uh, title so I will use m and then double quotes title now we are getting this JSON data uh, this one so I'm getting this uh, title this image and this release here I will copy this release here now I'll, I'll go again to this and now here I've laid the second one is image so M image and then we have release here so M and I will use this and now I'll put semicolon here now I will add this in this uh, items list so items dot add m and now put semicolon here now this method is returning us a list of movies in uh, 
future so the return type of this uh, method is a list of uh, movies and this is also this item is also a, a list of movies so we will return uh, this uh, items now I'll go to the state class and create the UI so the first thing here I will use the child property and here I will use future builder and in this future builder now we have a property in this future call future builder call future so we'll use their uh, that and this uh, in this future property we will call this uh, method get json but it is showing error here what is the error so we have uh, named this object as well as this variable the same so i'll make this ma and i'll make this ma ma and now this as well now it is working so i'll come here down and here i will call the git json method git json control space and now we have called this now we have another property and that one is called builder and uh, it takes uh, a build context context and a snapshot called async snapshot and now I will use curly braces here Now we will use if else so if uh, snapshot dot data equals equals null then we will return a container with the, um, a child center and inside this child we will have a child a text which we are loading and now the next one else and here we will use else we will return a list view builder and which will have these uh, items this will take um, build context and um, and index and now here I will use curly braces now I'll put semicolon here and now I will use another property here um, call item count and for item count I will use snap short dot data dot length and now here inside this uh, these curly braces now we will use a return list styles
here we do not have this is so it is list style and we have property in uh, it called leading and in leading I will use uh, sir avatar and in circle avatar we have some um, properties so I will use this background image and it will be a network image in here it will take a URL which uh, we will get from the snapshot we'll use snapshot dot data um, and I will use index here and dot image URL so we have this image now we will use uh, the title so for title I will use title and it will take a text and this text uh, I will take uh, I will use a comma here snapshot dot data dot uh, index dot title and now we have subtitle so for subtitle I will use subtitle and I will use text here as well and uh, I will use snap short dot data and I will use index dot um, release here and now we are done so let's uh, attach the device to Android Studio and let's test it hello now the device is detected so I will run this now the app is running on the device and it is showing loading now it uh, has loaded the data uh, and now we can see these uh, movies title into this list view but the images will take some time to load because uh, my internet is very slow now it is loading slowly now you can see that all the images of the movies uh, except the last one is loaded uh, so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment on my videos thank you